Wholesale. 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 We're going to make a, an announcement first that's very important. It's from the uh, New Union Tribune, I meaning new, since it's in LA, there are stories and articles that would never have been printed in San Diego before. This one is the Newsom, the governor, apologizes to Native Americans. Uh, he cites the state's history of violence and calls it genocide. What he's referring to is the uh, indigenous people of the state of California and uh, what they have suffered actually under a state directive of genocide. And he's referring to, this is amazing, this in quotes, um, in 1851, the address from the state's first chief executive, the former governor, uh, Peter Burnett, in which he tells law, lawmakers to expect, quote, a war of extermination to continue until the Indian race becomes extinct. And the uh, state militia was employed to that end, and American citizens were also subsidized by the state for helping the state achieve that end. And a small percentage of indigenous people survived all of that. Along with that, may I add, <laughs> the wolf suffered the same fate. <laughs> and we're, we're, we're also uh, people of the Wolf League up there in uh, Cuyamaca, and, the wolf is coming back. Now to, to go on with uh, the main occurrence right now is the uh, summer solstice. And so different things you know, occur at this solstice. Uh, principle for the solstice is the moon. And she's up here. And I heard the moon peeking through and caught his reading of Joy Harjo there. So she is here. Um, it's also the strawberry moon, so that's something to also consider. It's also the appearance of the great white buffalo constellation, which I will, you know, talk more about in another another time. But that's also appearing now. Uh, and here in my uh, display here, this is actually a calendar print um, of the strawberry moon, and what's featured here is it. Edward Curtis photograph, which is only captioned uh, as a young Apache woman. Uh, usually he, he gives the names of these people, so unfortunately I don't know her name or to what group she belongs to, but I do have to you know, say a note. Apache is a, a name that Americans have applied to these people. And it's very, very unfortunate for all the way that it's used in that way, like Apache helicopters. And, and so forth. It has derived actually uh, from France, Apache, um, basically meaning gangster, or, you know, thug and that sort of thing. Um, the collective name for the people that's being addressed this way is the Apache, um, and that also comes from where they've come from, the very western part of the Tarim Basin or eastern Afghanistan, Quebec, Turkestan, and all those places is where these people have come from. Collectively, the Apache means warriors of the lake. They're, they're actually the Turkoman. They speak Turkic language. <laughs> and so, just, just that. And so, that's this beautiful photograph is of. And I want to read for this, actually, somebody you all like. And that is um, Mary Oliver. Buck Moon. 88,600 different species in North America. In the trees, the grasses around us, maybe more, maybe several million on each acre of Earth. The one as well as any other, this one as well as any other, where you are standing at dusk, where the moon appears to be climbing the eastern sky, where the wind seems to be traveling through the trees, and the frogs are content in their black ponds, or else, why do they sing? Where you feel a power that is not you, but flows into you like a river. Where you lie down and breathe the sweet honey of the grass and count the stars. Where you fall asleep, listening to the simple chords repeated, repeated. Where resting you feel the perfection, the rising, the happiness, 
of their dark wings when the white moon rises.